This is part three, class three in our series of the lengthening portion in our program. My name is Sarah Kirikoni, Live Free Warrior. In this class, our focus is the hips. Now to get into the hips, we're first going to warm up the hips. That means chair pose. So go ahead and start out in a chair pose. Bring the big toes to touch, knees together, inner thighs hugging in towards one another. And you can just take your hands at your waist because we're not really working the um, arms, for se, in this one. But you do want to have a back bend, so let the chest lift forward. Take a deep breath in. Keep opening the chest. Inhale. And exhale. Inhaling. Exhale, drop a little lower into the C. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, long spine. Plant the hands, step your left foot back. Let the left knee come on down to the mat and untuck those back toes. Your hands come to the top of your right knee and then lift on up through the chest. Squeeze the inner thighs towards one another, so that might mean that you lift up a little bit more than you would in a typical lunge, but squeeze the inner thighs towards one another. Keep contracting, so you're drawing them in, holding three, two, one, then drop and sink into the hips. You should feel really good in that front left hip there. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, the arms be loose, exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Hands lower down to the mat. Step back, downward facing dog with really bent knees. Bent knees, send the chest back towards the thighs. Deep breath in, full breath out. Inhale, shift the plank. And then the exhale, just let the hips sink. So you can let the knees come down in this if you like. And you start to wiggle a little side to side. Ensure that this feels okay in your low back. Otherwise, bend your elbows and take your chest down a little bit closer to the mat. This should cause no pain in your low back. And just shifting side to side. So remember when we talk about hips, it's the front of the body, not just the outer hips. Right? It's also the hip flexors, your inner hips, your adductors. Then the external rotators, mainly your glutes. <laughs> It also includes a little bit of your low back, which we'll work into. So you're gonna press on back, tabletop position, and then step your right foot back between the hands. Back toes are untucked. Inhale, we're back in that low lunge. Here, this time, grab your left wrist, look up and over to the right. Sink into the hips, inhale, and exhale. Two. Deep breath in. And exhaling. Come on back on up. And exhale, hands lower down to the mat. Step your left foot up to meet the right. Inhale, long spine. Folding, exhale. Inhale, lengthen. And now step your right foot back. Let the right knee come on down to the mat. So again, you're not going into your deepest lunge to start. Scissor the inner thighs towards one another. You're up a little bit higher. Core is active. Hold three. Two, one, then sink forward into the hips. Let the arms be loose. And they can be hands at your waist, whatever feels good. And we're opening and loosening. So try and let go. Each exhale is what you can unravel, what you can unload, what you can let go of. How much we store in the hips, believe it or not. We're using them constantly whether we're seated, whether we're active and moving. Deep breath in, and exhale. Hands come on down to the mat. Give your left foot back. Shift forward. Your knees can still be down, that's fine. And then once again, just lower the hips down to the mat. So it's like this little snake wiggle <laughs> side to side. And then even the feet can lift away from the mat. Doesn't have to stay down. Moving side to side. Maybe it gets even more exaggerated. And 
as you come on back up, tabletop position. Step your left foot between the hands, you're back in that low lunge. Inhale, arms rise overhead. Grab your right wrist with your left hand. Lift up and over to the left. Deep breath in, side bending. Two. Deepest breath you can into your right lungs. And exhale. Inhale, come on back up. Your hands will come down to the mat inside your left foot. You're gonna pivot to the long edge of your mat so as you tuck the right toes under, come to the long edge. Inhale and extend the spine. You're gonna bend into your right knee. This might be where you stay. We come down a little bit lower. Three, two, and then switch sides. Bend into your left knee. importance of going slow and breathing deep. Come on back up through center. Now as you bend into your right knee, maybe you find exactly where you were before. Perhaps you come down a little bit lower. This isn't to get lazy. It doesn't mean go sit down. You're still feeling this in your inner thighs. The left foot can point up towards the ceiling, but what I'm really focused on, I'm watching you, extend up through the spine. Deep breath in, and exhale. You feel this mainly in the inner hips. Inhale, and exhale. Switch sides, so slowly meander out of that. And as you bend into your left knee, you can stay up higher, or you start to extend through your right leg. Notice too if one side is a little bit tighter than the other, and that's okay too. Deep breath in, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more inhale, and exhaling. Come on back through center, inhale. Just to switch it up, come to the back of your mat, or front of your mat or whatever pleases you from a plank position and once again let the hips sink on down untuck those toes and just wiggle side to side and as you make your way into a pigeon pose I like to approach it from a downward dog you can get there however you'd like but we're gonna come into a pigeon on the right leg so the right knee comes near the right wrist the right foot can start out pointed like a ballerina towards your left hip. Left toes untucked. Now look over your left leg. See that the left thigh is wrapped down towards the mat. That's important in your pigeon pose. Ensure that there's no pain in your right knee. With time and with hip flexibility and opening, perhaps your right shin comes more parallel to the front of the mat, but it doesn't have to go there today. If that's the case, your foot will then flex. And you can stay upright or lower onto the forearms. Perhaps you lower all the way down. I like to stay up on the forearms personally. But again, most importantly, the left thigh stays wrapped down. There's no pain in the right knee. There's extension in the spine. And it's a space that you are feeling something, yet you can breathe. Deep breath in. And exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more inhale, and exhale, exhale. Come back up to the hands. You're just gonna rotate over to the right side. <laughs> Come to seated. The sole of the right foot places to the inside of the left thigh. Left hand comes down, reach the right arm up overhead and take a nice side bend. You don't have to touch your toes, just keep the extension of the spine with the right shoulder or the right ribs stacked over the left. And the right arm extending, palm facing down. Deep breath in, and exhale. 
One more inhale. And exhale. Come on back up. Hands will come to the front of the mat. Switching sides on your pigeon pose. Again, any way you want to get into that, I'm going to go through a downward facing dog. If you're someone who likes to do a vinyasa, you can do that too. I'm just going to bring that left shin down, slowly starting to set up in a pigeon. Again, the left foot can be pointed. You look over your right shoulder. You see what that right thigh is doing. Wrap it down towards the mat. Long spine inhale. And the option to fold. Or you start to bring that chin forward, whichever, wherever your body's taking you today. And every day is going to be different. Every practice is going to be different. Every body is going to be different. So whatever works for me, whatever I do, is cool for me. But you got to, you do you. One of my favorite sayings. Extending your breath, inhale. Extend the exhale, exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Come on back up. You're gonna rotate to your left side, but you won't see me, so I'm gonna turn this way. <laughs> Take the sole of your left foot inside your right thigh for that side bend. So your right hand comes down, Left arm extends overhead, left ribs stacking over the right. Extend on the inhale, exhale, that's where you can twist. So oftentimes we will feel low back pain, which can be related to tight hips. It's all connected. So here we're working the low back in combination with the hips. Two more inhale. Exhale, one more in, and exhale. Come on back up, and we do Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet come together. Extend up long through the spine. Your knees can be here, and that's okay. Or they come out to the side, and that's okay. Long spine, inhale. And you grab either the big toes, or I like to massage the arches of my feet really good stay here or begin to take a little bit of a fold the spine extends in your fold that's the important part maybe you use your elbows place to the inner thighs or the calves just a little guide to open up a little bit more deep breath in full exhale inhale Exhale. In. Exhale. And rise back up on the inhale. Take your hands inside the knees. Most likely your elbows are gonna stay bent. Long spine inhale. And start to extend through your right arm. Again, it can stay bent or it extends all the way and you're twisting. Deep breath in. Exhale, twist. Come back to center on the inhale and just switch sides. Lengthen on the inhale and exhale, twist on the exhale. Inhale and exhale, twist. One more inhale and exhale, twist. Hug the knees in towards your chest. Just give them a little squeeze. Then take your hands behind you. Fingertips face in, separate your feet inner hip distance. And just let your knees drop over to the right and then over to the left. You're gonna do that four more on each side. To the right, to the left, over to the right, left, right, left. One more to the right and then over to the left. That concludes class number three of our lengthening portion of this program, focusing on the hips. My name is Sarah Kirkoni, Live Free Warrior. See you in the next video.